Hello, hitless runners. This guide is for using the auto hit counter built into the default auto splitter for Hollow Knight on Windows. With Live Split and Hit Counter Manager connected by a Live Split component. Live Split is normally used by speedrunners as a timer. There's a link in the description to livesplit.org to download it. The auto hit counter is part of Live Split's default auto splitter for Hollow Knight. You can make Live Split splits files in HK Split Maker. Link in the description to that as well. There are pre made categories to start from. I'll start with any percent steel soul. In the UI, you can delete splits you don't want. Don't want the tram pass as a split? Delete it. You can also drag splits around to reorder them. Want Grusmother before Mantis Claw? Drag it up. Want King Station after Watcher Knights? Drag it down. Want Lantern before Dream Nail? Drag it up. Crystal Heart before that too? Drag it up. Want Umu before Trap Bench? Drag it up. You can add new splits in between with these plus buttons. Change it from Abyss Shriek to the split you want. I'll put in Shade Soul here between Dream Nail and Umu. Click Generate, Download. Open your splits file, the LSS file, in Live Split. Right click on Live Split, Edit Splits. Make sure the auto splitter is active. If it's not active already, click Activate. You might have to re download the splits from HK Split Maker if it's your first time activating it. Hit Settings for the auto splitter settings. You should see the auto splits you picked in this list. If you don't see them, you definitely have to re-download them from HK Split Maker. On the Hit Counter menu, switch it from None to Hits with Dream Falls. OK? OK. Save Splits. If you don't already have Hit Counter Manager, link in the description. Make a profile with the same splits as your live split, everything in the same order. To connect the auto hit counter in live split to this, get the hit counter manager connector component for live split. Link in the description for this as well. Extract and install the DLL to the Components folder in your LiveSplit installation. You might need to restart LiveSplit after installing. There are two layout components you should add for counting hits. A text component to display the number of hits on LiveSplit, and the Hit Counter Manager Connector component to send the hits to Hit Counter Manager. Right-click on LiveSplit, Edit Layout. Plus, information, text. Plus, control, hit counter manager connector. Layout settings. You can set the opacity lower if you want it transparent. On the text tab, check the box for custom variable. Left text can be whatever descriptive name you want. I'll put hits. The important part is under Write Text. Custom variable name has to be hits, all lowercase, just hits. On the Hit Counter Manager Connector tab, Reconnect. OK. OK. I'll save this layout as a name that tells me it's for hits.
Hit Counter Manager works with OBS as a browser source. If you don't already have OBS, link in the description. Under Sources, Plus, Browser. Create new. I'll name it Hit Counter Manager. I'll name it Hit Counter Manager. OK. Check the box for local file. Browse. Go to your Hit Counter Manager installation, Designs, Hit Counter GUI.html, Open. OK. If you have a lot of splits, you might notice it cuts off the bottom. To solve that, in Hit Counter Manager, click Settings, Behavior, and adjust the settings for Show the Last Finished Splits and Show the Next Upcoming Splits. Adjust those numbers down until it fits.